and singer and television personality. Braxton began her career in 1990 as a founding member of the Braxtons, an R&B singing group formed with her sisters. The Braxtons released their debut album, So Many Ways, as a trio in 1996 and disbanded shortly afterward. Born. March 17, 1977, age 47 years, Severn, Maryland, United States. Spouse, Vincent Herbert, M, 2008-2019, Darrell Udelite Alambi, M, 2001-2003. Reality shows. Dancing with the Stars, Celebrity Big Brother. Parents, Evelyn Braxton, Michael Conrad Braxton. Siblings, Tony Braxton, Tracy Braxton, Trina Braxton, Tawanda Braxton, Michael Conrad Braxton Jr. Tamar Braxton net worth $3 million. Life and career. 1977 to 1999. Early life and career beginnings. Tamar Esteen Braxton was born to Michael and Evelyn Braxton in Severn, Maryland on March 17, 1977. The youngest of the Braxton's six children, Braxton began singing as a toddler. The Braxton children would eventually enter in their church choir, where their father, Michael Braxton, was a pastor. She and her sisters Tony, Tracy, Tawanda, and Trina signed their first record deal with Arista Records in 1989. In 1990, they released their first single, Sh Good Life, Sh, which peaked at No. 79 on the Billboard Hot R&B Slash Hip Hop Singles chart. At the time of the single's release, the members' age differences created a problem with marketing. Subsequently, the Braxtons were dropped from Arista Records. In 1991, during a showcase with L.A. Reid and Kenneth E. Babyface E. Edmonds, who were in the process of forming LaFace Records, Tony Braxton, minus her four sisters, was chosen and signed as the label's first female solo artist. At the time, the remaining members were told that LaFace was not looking for another girl group since it had just signed TLC. After Tony's departure from the group, the remaining Braxton's members became backup singers for Tony's first tour, music videos, and promotional appearances. She and her sisters Tracy, Tawanda, and Trina were featured in the music video for Tony Braxton's third single, J7 Whole Days, J from her self-titled debut album. In 1993, LaFace Records ANR Vice President, Bryant Reed, signed the Braxtons to LaFace. However, the group never released an album or single for the label. When Reed moved on to work for Atlantic Records, he convinced executives at LaFace to allow him to take the group to Atlantic also. It was reported in Vibe magazine that in 1995, Tracy Braxton had left the group to pursue a career as a youth counselor. However, it was not confirmed until a 2011 promotional appearance on the Monique show that Tracy was not allowed to sign with Atlantic because of her pregnancy at the time. In 1996, Tamar, Trina, and Tawanda returned with a new album entitled So Many Ways, which peaked at No. 26 on the Billboard R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart. At the time of its release, Reed told Billboard magazine, G.I. had a vision for them then that was about young sophistication with sex appeal. The trio also performed a remixed version of De So Many Ways with rapper Jay-Z on September 9, 1996, at the Soul Train Lady of Soul Awards. So Many Ways went on to peak at No. 83 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and number 32 on the UK Singles chart. Braxton and her fellow group members served as the opening act for Tony Braxton on the European leg of her Secrets tour in 1997. The Braxtons decided to part ways as a group after Braxton left to pursue a solo career with DreamWorks Records in 1998. Personal Life Braxton is the youngest of her siblings including her sisters Tony, Tracy, Tawanda, and Trina, as well as her only brother Michael Jr. on an episode of The Real, she revealed that she suffered from vitiligo. In November 2015, she discovered that she had several pulmonary emboli in her lungs, which forced her to withdraw from her work on Dancing with the Stars. During an interview in October 2020, Braxton stated that she had been diagnosed with anxiety and depression. In 2001, Braxton was married to her first husband, music producer Daryl A. Delight Jalambi. Alambi was a songwriter and producer who worked with his frequent songwriting partner Lincoln A. Link Gibrauder, as well as Silk, Busta Rhymes, and Gerald Levert. The two met while Alambi worked on Braxton's 2000 debut albums Traxy Money, Can't Buy Me Love, E. Andy Once Again. The couple divorced in 2003 after two years of marriage. In 2003, she began dating Vincent Herbert, a record executive whom she met through her sister, Tony. The couple married on November 27, 2008. Braxton gave birth to the couple's son, Logan Vincent, in 2013. In October 2017, Braxton filed for divorce from Herbert, citing irreconcilable differences and seeking joint custody of their son.
Their divorce was finalized in July 2019. Braxton was in a relationship with financial advisor David Adafiso. On July 16, 2020, Braxton was hospitalized following a suicide attempt. In September 2020, Adafiso filed a restraining order against Braxton for domestic violence.